Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. I'm super excited because I can finally announce Argon 18. Argon 18 is a modification to a very nicely designed Argon 1 case. You can read more about Argon 1 and what's so special about this case in this video there. As you can see, modification addresses a couple of the issues that I personally had with the case. First of all, uh, USB boot is available for Raspberry Pi 4. It's quite easy to implement. However, adding an SSD to a case like that would ruin that slick design. And this is not something I really wanted to do. Second of all, because I want to run home automation server, I still have to add a USB stick with my CC2531 for Zigbee support. And those two things now are integrated into this package. As you can see, it's nice, neat, and it's capable of both things because it has a MSATA drive inside and a Zigbee stick as well. So let's open it up and I'll tell you more in detail. There are no modifications to the case whatsoever. All you have to do is just replace the bottom of the case with a custom 3D printed en enclosure. I've built Argon 18 around X857 extension board and X862 extension boards, which can accommodate for MSATA and M.2 SS uh, drives. Because both extension boards have the same footprint, you'll be able to pick your preferred drive, whether it's MSATA, which is slightly cheaper, or uh, M.2 NVMe, which is slightly faster, not that that speed matters, inside the Argon 18. Now, because there was a quite a bit of space left, I figured I'll try to actually put the USB stick inside and make the package look nice on the outside. And that's why I've achieved using the CC 2531 stick and a piece of a prototyping board with a couple of wires and a USB type socket. This is the only prototype of this design, however I'm actually considering ordering a proper PCB which would do exactly the same and it would latch on to the Raspberry Pi instead. Argon 18 is printed in PLA and it takes from 6 to 13 hours depending on your printer settings. I also would like to address a couple of imperfections. I went through a couple of different designs just to make sure I've got everything right. However, soon uh, I discovered that the Argon 1 case isn't actually square. This side of the case of Argon 1 is shorter than this side, which makes it an imperfect square. This is very hard to design for, and I don't know whether it's uh, just a design like this, or maybe perhaps I have a wonky model. Another thing that I would like to point out that the corners on the Argon one a case aren't symmetrical and they don't have a consistency in profile which means they have a different width on the top and different width at the bottom again i'm not 100 percent sure if it's a problem with my case or it's a, just a design choice with that said with a well calibrated 3d printer you should be able to print argon 18 add-on without any problems uh, that will actually fit your enclosure. I took the average measurements to make sure that the case fits on top of it. As you can see, apart from a couple of small offsets, the case fits snugly into the Argon 1. So if you like Argon 18 STL, you can get it for $6.49 uh, or £5 if that's your local currency and you can do it through my website instructions will be linked in the article now i don't have immediate plan to put it on a website like etsy or something similar um, but if i'm gonna do it it's likely that the price is gonna be slightly bigger due to commission that uh, those websites would apply you probably know i do not have a posting schedule so if you're interested in any designs or what am i up to be sure to follow me on social media of your choice. You know how YouTube works, thousands of other YouTubers thought you that. As for now, I'm just gonna say thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.